Let's talk Nyad. Coming to theaters, select theaters October 20th, and wide release on Netflix November 3rd. It's the true story of Diana Nyad, the marathon swimmer swimming from Cuba to Key West. But first, yes, the writer's strike is coming to an end, but the actors are still on strike, so $5 going to the Entertainment Community Fund to support actors that are currently on strike fighting for better working conditions and wages. All right, let's talk Nyad. If you're looking for an inspirational sports story, which... Typically, you are when you're watching one of the sports stories about overcoming odds, you know, battling so many things. This is definitely going to be one to watch. And it's a very inspirational story, but it's more than just overcoming the odds of being in your 60s and accomplishing the goal of swimming the 90 miles from Cuba to Key West. It's about the people that you surround yourself with, dealing with trauma from your past and overcoming those things as well, while also becoming less of a bad person and selfish person and realizing the team around you is very important. So all those things coming together is why I did enjoy this film. First, Annette Bening cast as Diana Nyad. I mean, looks right off the bat in terms of how she portrayed this character was incredible and fantastic. And I believe should be at least considered in terms of best best actress nominations. Jodie Foster and her portrayal of Bonnie, the best friend of Diana Nyad is Jodie Foster. She's incredible. Again, Potential discussions there for awards for best supporting. And then Riz Ifranz, I really liked his portrayal as well, too, of Barrett. I mean, he he's the navigator in this. It's it's a great supporting role that he plays. And those three together, plus the rest of the supporting cast, they absolutely make this movie because they just fit the role so well. What stood out to me the most was the use of real footage, whether it was from the 70s, the late 70s. Uh, all the way into the 2000s and 20 teens and everything from all the different attempts that Diana had as well to accomplish this goal. I really love how they almost seamlessly insert real footage from these events from her training to when it was actually taking place to even the, in the post credits and everything too. They really do try to tell the story and try to keep it true. If you have no idea of Diana Nyad and what she's accomplished in her career. This is still one of those movies to watch uh, because I feel like it's inspirational. It's going to hopefully inspire you to do stuff, but also it shows how someone maybe is a little too selfish at first and realizes what is needed to accomplish a goal and the people that she surrounds herself with are very important as well. So Nyad, limited release in theaters October 20th and coming to Netflix November 3rd.